Respected comedian Nick Rabinovitz has just turned 40 and is on the verge of a midlife crisis. But he's not stressing just yet because he's marking this momentous occasion with a show titled Fortified. Rabinovitz has roped in the services of young comedian Cape Townian Yasin Barnes, who hails from uh, Garlandale in Athlone, to be his opening act for the show at the Baxter Theatre starting tomorrow. Barnes, who has paid his dues in the industry by working with several comedians, including writing for Stuart Taylor's 2015 in Review. He joins us now in studio. You know why I'm giggling? Because I know Garlandale <laughs> very well. I know Athlon very well. That used to be my hood. How are you doing? I'm, I'm doing well. It's very early, guys. I'm struggling to keep my eyes open. It's burning as we, well. We do this every morning. We're veterans. Congratulations on your success and representing Cape Town, man. Thank you very much. I, I'm also just doing this thing... At, like, I just do this thing and by the sideline, things are happening, yeah. Okay. Um, like with Nick show as well, because Nick is one of the legends. Yeah, he's, then, he, and he's funny. He's, he really, like, I, I was a child when I was watching him. I don't tell him that because he feels older than 40. Yeah. And then, um, so he asked me, like, yo, will you open for me, please? Then I was like, clearly you're having a midlife crisis. <laughs> <laughs> Even the Jewish guy must ask the Muslim boy to <laughs> open for me. <laughs> yeah. No, but at least movies. you're bringing these two, uh, these two religions together. <laughs> Talk to me about comedy and growing up. Uh, I know Athlone very well. For people that don't know, it's quite quaint. It has a its own feel, its own flavour. It's carved out. Anybody, well, anybody in the Western Cape would know what Athlone is because it's anonymous <laughs> with so much stuff. But the finding comedy, how did that come about? And then, you know, you're, you're a Muslim boy. I'm sure your parents have worked <laughs> out your future already for you. They, they, we all had it planned. I'll say we as a family had it planned. Because you want to be PC. Yes, okay. I'm just PC. And then um, I was never the funny guy either at school. Yeah. It was just not my thing. And then I found Twitter. And my Twitter <laughs> took off. And then in the first year, someone was like, yo, why didn't you try this on stage? And I was like, maybe I should tell jokes. Because I, 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 like, I like to try new things. We went to go tell jokes. And then, yeah, it became the only thing I wanted to do with my life. And at one point, I had to tell my parents, guys, I'm going to quit my job. And I'm going to tell jokes. And they were like, are you sure? T come on, tell me. <laughs> tell, reenact that moment when you're sitting down with your, with your parents who had a plan for you. And you're saying, you know what, your plans, I'm chucking it out of the window. <laughs> I'm going to pursue comedy. Riyad Musa is my... Is my. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be like Red Musa. The, the, the thing was, I, I was uh, studying at the time, studying and working with an internship. Yeah. And then the week I had to write my exams was the week I got asked to do a Comedy Central special. Okay. And so I had to decide of what I'm going to do, jokes <laughs> or get a qualification. And then I told my parents, guys, it's, it's TV. Like, TV is <laughs> a big deal, guys. Come on, it's, it's almost like what Riyad Musa's doing. And they were like, okay. Go for, just go for it, but we'll, we'll look after you for now for like two months and then we'll, we'll, we'll yeah, then you must go back and work. Yeah. And then I stuck to the guns and then since I took the decision to do, go full time, mm. it's, yeah, they've looked after me. Because obviously you're opening for Nick and that's a pretty big thing, but when did um, Yasin get his comedy voice? Because, you know, there's a thing trying comedy yeah. and then you, you're, you're now a comedian. <laughs> When did you get that voice? When did you say, like, hey, guy, I'm a comedian? Um, I, I still struggle to call myself a comedian when I meet people because people go, like, oh, you're a comedian, tell us a joke. <laughs> but then I tell them the worst joke, and then yeah. I laugh at the way they go, like, ah, but you're not funny. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, but, yeah, I, I think the first few times I went on stage, bombed. Yeah. I can't, as a Muslim guy, I can't say bombed, but I died <laughs> on stage. And yeah. Then, yeah. yeah, so then, like, I, I, but I knew I wanted to do it. And then I entered a competition, and then I started telling one-liners. Just mm. dad jokes, the shortest form yeah. of a joke, a druk joke. Like, it just it hurts me. You but come on, you it. had to check yourself when your dad came and watched you for the first time. Yeah, and he, um, once he saw it, because also the thing of, like, People from our neighborhood and people, um, I'll say the older generation, didn't know that comedy was a career option. A viable career option. Yeah, yeah. a viable as well. <laughs> so they just see it as, as jokes. Yeah. And then, because my dad's a funny guy, my dad tells the funniest, worst, best jokes. So it's jokes. natural for his son to yes. now make a living out of it. Yeah, so he can't in his mind, I don't think he understands that this is actually a career that's just telling jokes. The thing he loves to yeah. do is, is my job now. Yeah, and he's to blame for it. <laughs> Something quickly, you're opening for Nick Rabinovitz. We're going to share those details. What is the one thing people don't know about Nick that you've discovered to your alarm? Um, I, I don't want to say this on air. <laughs> But, but Nick loves Muslim food more than Jewish food. He actually comes to my house with a couple of ways for biryani and samosas. 
I actually have to smoke or like I need to like side down. That's how I pay him. He like pays me extra to bring him uh, biryani and aknis and Come on, anybody who knows anybody out of the Athlone <laughs> area knows those people know how to cook. Yeah, our salomis are on fleek. And now we've got our Gatsby's down. I'm busy sorting. Um, I think if we shed more salomis, there'd be more peace and harmony in the world. Huh? <laughs> yeah, because we just wrap it all up. That's what a salomi is. We just wrap every little thing together and then we go, that's a whole It's beautiful. Meal. Listen, very quickly, you've got new fans this morning. Where can they go? Where can they follow you for your funny um, stuff? They can find me on, on Facebook and on Twitter and on Instagram. I, I have a very funny handle though. It, my, so my name is Yasin, yeah. but my Twitter handle is Yasinim. As in, as in, have you seen him? Have you seen him? Yeah, I've yeah. seen him. Yeah, I've seen him. I'm, okay, I'm cool. sorry, guys. So, I've yeah, I've Jason. seen him. Bonds <laughs> is in a studio with us. He's opening act for Nick Rabinovitz. He is, um, I'm going to plug you unashamedly because I come from that area. Uh, so let's watch uh, this young man's flag fly very high. He's going to be a big name in comedy.